you're a developer and you spend more time debugging than pretty much any other activity in life and you want to improve your programming skills. If this sounds familiar to you, then these tips will definitely help you get better at what you do. Tip number one, isolate problems. Programming is about solving problems. And when these problems get complicated, we just don't know how to make it work anymore. We get stuck. This is especially true when you're working on front-end code. Things seem to be impossible when you're nested into multiple divs in the partial view and you're also using a templating engine. So whenever you get stuck, just create a new code pen or an empty HTML file and load the same libraries that you're using and try to write your solution there. This will eliminate distractions and external factors and lets you focus on finding a solution to your problem. Once it works, take the solution and carefully place it back in its correct location. This is also true when writing programming code. Once you break down a problem into a series of transformation, you can isolate a problem and work on it independently from the noise. Tip number two, use GitHub for debugging. You're stuck on an issue and the error message clearly states that the error is beyond your control. You can't find anything on Google either. Well, actually, most of the software you're using is open sourced on GitHub. And when people encounter bugs with that software, they create a new issue on that software's GitHub repository. So next time you're stuck on an issue, find that software's GitHub repository and browse through their issues. You'll find tons of relevant issues that are either solved or in progress. Tip number three, write tests for your code. A great way to write code with less bugs is to start by writing tests for your code. You might not have the best code, but it will force you to improve the quality of your code. That's because it allows you to think through your implementation before you start writing the actual code. You will also be able to easily refactor your code while making sure that it doesn't break. Let's take a simple example. Let's say you're working on a user registration functionality. If you rush through the implementation, you might forget about validating the data or dispatching a welcome email to the user. When you write tests, however, you will have to think about the end result. So you will need to write tests to cover both success and error scenarios. Now that you're writing tests, you will check in the database for a correct username and password that were stored and you will also assert that there was a welcome email that was dispatched for that specific user. If you do this for every single function you write, you will progressively improve the quality of your code. Tip number four, read the source. Whenever you're working with frameworks, you're working at a high level. In your editor, set up a hotkey. Mine is command plus G that takes you to the original function definition. And every time you use a function defined by a framework that you're using, for example, Vue.js, Laravel, Rails, Angular, or React, hit that hotkey and read the source code for that framework function. You will be surprised how much knowledge you can amass by incorporating this tiny habit. The code you'll be reading may not make a lot of sense in the beginning, but over time, you will learn a lot by reading other people's code. Not to mention that you'll occasionally discover that this function that you've been using for far too long had an optional parameter that will make your life much, much easier. I hope you enjoyed these tips. This was part one. Stay tuned for part two and more upcoming videos by hitting the subscribe button here.